hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss another interesting topic of electronic subject which is peak inverse voltage so let's get started peak inverse voltage peak inverse voltage is referred to as reverse peak down voltage or peak reverse voltage which is defined as the maximum reverse voltage that a diode or a pn junction can withstand in a non conducting strain or you can say reverse bias condition before breakdown if this voltage exceeds the diode might get damaged the maximum voltage can block the rectifier or a diode in a given circuit so piv in the diode peak inverse voltage in the diode is the peak value of the inverse voltage across the diode in reverse bias condition so here it is saying that the peak inverse voltage is the maximum value that can withstand across the diode in a reverse bias condition so consider the circuit shown below to calculate the piv of the diode so it is the circuit diagram to calculate the piv of the diode so in the circuit the silicon diode or a pn junction diode is used as a rectifier to convert ac to dc make sure that the maximum value or peak value of the ac supply should not exceed the peak inverse value of the silicon diode so in the half wave rectifier the load current will be zero when the diode is in non conducting strain or you can say reverse bias condition so thus the maximum voltage value of the voltage that exists across the diode is v so here we are giving the negative half cycle of the input so it is the negative half cycle we are giving here so we are in the negative half cycle the input is in reverse bias condition as it is a negative so the current flow will be zero as the diode is in reverse bias condition or you can say it is in open condition so no current will be flow through the load resistor and you can get the output across the load as we are giving to the input so we are we are giving vm and we are getting also the maximum value that exists across the diode is vm piv in half wave rectifier to get an idea of piv we should focus the voltage appearing across the diode terminals when it is non conducting that is reverse bias condition so for this case diode may be replaced by an open switch as shown below so here it is the circuit diagram for a half wave rectica rectifier and here we are replacing the diode by an open switch so it can be seen from the above circuit diagram that the voltage appearing across the diode is equal to vm sin omega t so we are giving the input here is vm and the output we are getting across the diode is vm sin omega t as it is the maximum peak inverse voltage that can withstand across the diode in reverse bias condition so so therefore the maximum reverse bias voltage across the diode we are getting is pm as we are giving input vm and we are getting the output across the diode is pm so therefore the peak inverse voltage of the diode in half wave rectifier is equal to the peak value of the input supply voltage as you can see here is that so so next is peak inverse voltage in center tap full wave rectifier first of all we should replace the diode by an open switch to simulate reverse bias condition to get the peak inverse voltage of the diode so it is the circuit diagram for a center tap rectifier these are the transformer winding and we are giving input so we are using two diode d1 and d2 so here we are giving an input signal and this is the negative input signal so va is is equal to v max positive maximum voltage and vbo is equal to negative maximum voltage we are giving here so by using a center tap transformer we are creating two ac source which are out of phase by 180 degree celsius vao and vbo but within same amplitude of v maximum voltage 
BAO and VBO. At any instant, BAO is equal to minus VBO due to 180 degree phase difference. Negative uh, positive maximum voltage and negative maximum voltage. Consider the above circuit at the instant where VAO is equal to positive maximum voltage. At this moment, VBO has negative maximum voltage. So, the diode D1 is forward bias that is in conducting state and D2 is reverse bias. D1 is in conducting state and D2 is in non-conducting state. So, the voltage appearing across diode D2 is Vxy. So, voltage appeared across D2 is Vxy. So, peak inverse voltage for D2 is the maximum value of Vxy which is the instant we are considering. So, here the maximum value of Vxy is equal to Vx minus Vy. So, so, Vx is equal to minus Vmax and Vy is equal to positive Vmax as the it is the negative half cycle. So, here we are getting Vmax negative and either here the diode D1 is conducting. So, we get the output across diode Y condition is Vmax. So, we get minus Vmax minus plus positive Vmax. So, minus Vmax minus Vmax is equal to minus 2 Vmax. So, the magnitude of reverse voltage appearing across the diode is twice of maximum inverse voltage. So, the next is PIB of full wave bridge rectifier. When the secondary voltage attain its maximum positive value and the terminal A is positive and B is negative as shown in the figure. So here it is the circuit diagram for the full wave bridge rectifier. As you have already known that the full wave bridge rectifier uses four diodes and, and during each half cycle two of the diodes are conducting and other two are non-conducting. So at this instant diode D1 and D3 are forward biased and conducts currents. D1 and D3 are conducting and D2 and D4 are non-conducting. So therefore the terminal M attain the same voltage as that A complement or A. So here the terminal A and B and the terminal A complement and B complement. So the terminal M to L the voltage contain is same. Whereas the terminal L attain the same voltage as that of B complement or B. M to L. Hence the diode D2 and D4 are reverse bias and the peak volt inverse voltage across both of them we are getting is Vm. So here we are providing the input voltage Vm and we are getting the output across the diode which are conducting and the peak inverse uh, maximum peak inverse voltage we are getting across the RL is the maximum input voltage we are giving. So, the peak inverse voltage for a full wave bridge rectifier is Vm. So, guys, if you like my video, please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest update. And you can comment me as what topic do you want me to discuss in next video. See you in the next video. Bye.